And as part of doing it right the first time, we of course have a procedure to make our white beads. Now the government wants white beads only, untouched by human hands, they want white beads. We don't know what they do with them, but they want white beads. So here is our finely engineered procedure. Now this took many years to develop this procedure. Many very qualified professional engineers worked on this procedure. It is a beautiful procedure. It will be followed. Now, I will demonstrate. First, the procedure number is WBDHT81-C, white bead generation, required tools and materials. Paddle for retrieval of beads. We have a paddle. It has 50 holes in it, five rows of 10, 50. Your quota is 50. I don't see what's so funny. 50. This is not humorous. We are at work. Now you grasp, this is step two, grasp the paddle by the handle. Ensure that the holes are orientated facing upwards. Now if you put it in upside down and you don't get any beads, you don't get your 50. You get fired. Hold the holes the right way up. You rotate it in till the paddle is covered with beads. Very easy. Now to make sure you don't get any more than 50, you raise the paddle four inches above the bead box and you tilt it exactly 47 degrees. And then you go to QA. So you walk around in front of here, and we go to the QA inspectors. Now, QA, here's your training. Now, I've made sure that there's some red beads here because I want to be sure they can distinguish red from white. So this is your test, your qualification test. You are to count the number of beads. Each of you two inspectors write the number of beads on the piece of paper, the red beads. These are bad. They are defects. We're not supposed to make reds, but you have to make sure that you identify which ones are defects. The inspector general, you compare the two numbers and you announce in a loud voice that number and then dismiss the workers. So in this case, you'd say 10, dismissed. Now you try it. 10, dismissed. I thought you had a loud voice. Come on, <laughs> gusto. 10, dismissed. That's better, I guess. <laughs> and then the worker comes back, puts beads back in the supply, and we move onwards. Now, that is the system. This is all in compliance with DOE orders. We have a pay-for-performance contract. None of this cost-plus mamby-pamby stuff. We get paid for our product. They've been setting aside some money for us, so we got to deliver white beads. So we will now start day number one. Kurt, willing worker number one, you've received your on-the-job training, right? Do you have any questions? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Come forward. Do your first day's work. They're empty, and you rotate in. Beads, can I keep, there you go, the beads cover all the holes up four inches and 47 degrees. 47 degrees, that was only two, 47 degrees. Okay, that's better, on to QA. We have a finely engineered procedure here. Eight, dismissed. Eight, this is the white bead company. You just made eight defects that we don't get paid for. Well, put them back in, follow the procedure, put the beads back in. I'm sure the next worker can do better. Just till them back in, back in, just till it over. There we go. Now, willing worker number two, take your spot at the end of the line. That was your day. Eight red beads. Oh, and yes, I'm glad you're waiting to follow instructions because the instruction is record the number eight by Kurt's name in day number one. Eight. Very good. Willing worker number two, you have your paddle, you've read your procedure, now execute it. Now just dip it in, just smooth action, there you go. Now up four inches and 40, oh, you got that 47 degrees, very good. Very good, I'm impressed. The quality assurance inspectors count the number of red beads and record that number. 10, dismissed. 10, I'm very disappointed. You saw he got eight. You got 10. Two worse. I don't understand. Did you, oh, write the number 10 in. When he says 10 dismissed, you write the number 10 in. Should just go in automatic here. Very good. Willing worker number three. I'm going to watch you very closely here. And up four inches and four, that's four. Yep, there we go. And on to QA. Oh, the first day always has its trouble spots. Learning curves and all that.
10 dismissed. Well, we're nothing if not consistent, Ed. 10. Okay, put the beads back in the pin. Now we have Debbie, D-E-B-B-I-E. -E. And you, do you, are you following your procedure? Well, that's right, 47 the other way, 47 forward. There you go, now up and on the QA. On the QA we go. A little bit shaky there, but uh, we expect that the first day. Uh, Nine dismissed. You see, the QA determines how many there are. <laughs> then I will tell you you got nine, which is down by one, yes. Okay, we have an improving trend here. Do you see what my fine management here is doing by watching these procedures? We have an improving trend from 10 to nine. I'm very pleased. Now we need to continue this improving trend with willing worker number five, Ken. Well, you didn't really cover the beads there. Now, you didn't pay attention on the job training here. We put the paddle against here and go all the way into the beads. Don't try to just get a small amount. Now, I'm gonna, this is the first day, so I'm giving you a little slack here. There you go, see how easy that is. And still, boy. <laughs> Okay, what does the count say? 11, dismiss. 11, can you, do you see what happens when you don't follow the procedure? Take this as a note. Now, I do need to ask for where is my cams rep? Who's got the DTS computer here? So we can record our corrective action problem here because we have an adverse trend from nine to 11 plus we had a procedure violation. So we do need to satisfy our corrective action management and log that in the system. NTS finding if it doesn't improve. Okay, Sid, you've seen your pre-workers do this. You now know what to do. Oh, very smooth action, very good. Four inches and 47, 47, 47 degrees. There we go, on the QA. Ah, very good. You see, corrective action management works. You take the corrective actions, you get your eight. Now, I would like you to total me up for the whole day. How many red beads did all six workers make? So we can review this. Although I'm not very pleased, we are the White Bead Production Corporation. We're not getting paid for these red beads. How are we doing 66. here? Ah, QA is helping here. Okay, well, write in 66 then. I'll take the word of our lead inspector here. Let's see, 18, 28, 37, 48, 58, 66. Ugh. 66. No, that's not, you don't count my practice 10. That was just demonstrating when I did that. We just do the six workers, 56 then, okay. You see why we have QA. <laughs> 56 is the number. Yes, initial your line out. Yes. Okay, Mr. President, we completed the first days of work and we unfortunately made 56 red beads in the first day. Well, I have reviewed the results and I must say that our customer will not be satisfied with this level of defects and we do need to do better. We do recognize that it was just the first day of production with a new process. Uh, I would like to recognize though the workers who have performed uh, better than the others. If you would send those two to my office, please. Kurt and Sid, the president has beckoned. Please proceed to the president's office. I'd like to congratulate both of you on your excellent performance. You're Kurt, you're Sid. Um, please keep up the good work. And in addition to the certificate, I'd like you to stop by the payroll office, pick up a little monetary reward. Please keep that to yourself, though. We don't need to discourage the rest of the workers. <laughs> Their morale is already low enough, but you guys deserve what you get. So please go by and pick that up, and, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank and you. a big round of applause for the... Workers of the day.